Hey everyone, welcome back to another SOAR episode from this season's theme of book trailers for books that provide food for thought. If you haven't already, be sure to listen to last week's episode on Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Today's episode is on the powerful short story Sonny's Blues, which opens with the protagonist, an unnamed narrator, who has just read in the newspaper that his little brother Sonny was arrested for using and selling heroin. As a high school algebra teacher, he ponders how many of his students also turned to drugs to escape their suffering in Harlem. Months later, the narrator's daughter Grace dies, and he decides to write to Sonny in jail out of grief. Sonny writes back, saying he's needed to hear from his brother for a while, but didn't reach out first because he was ashamed of the situation he caused. The narrator feels guilty, and begins writing to Sonny frequently, and when Sonny's released from jail, he comes to live with the narrator and his family. The story then flashbacks to Sonny's teenage years when he wanted to be a jazz musician but was discouraged by his family because his uncle was a musician that was murdered and his brother thinks it will get him into drugs and suffering. Sonny and his brother drift apart and then Sonny goes to war, not seeing his brother again until he finds him living with a group of musicians. Because of this, they have a horrible fight and then they don't see each other till the present when Sonny has come out of jail. Will the narrator ever accept Sonny's passion for music? Will Sonny be able to let go of drugs? What will happen to the narrator and Sonny as their lives continue? Will their newfound relationship persist? Read to find out and join this incredible short story. For me, reading this was incredibly powerful because it showed how pervasive the institution of poverty is. Sonny escaped Harlem but not the drugs, and the narrator escaped the drugs but not Harlem. Either way, the cycle of poverty they were trapped in had a major impact on their lives. This book is full of lessons, morals, struggle, learning, change, listening, or lack thereof, friendship, family, growth, hope, and is truly a book that I would recommend. Thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to leave a rating and a review, and to spread the word about SOAR to help achieve its goal of promoting reading. I implore you to soar.